Hey guys, welcome. This is Mark with D7. In this video series, I'll cover 17 less obvious new features and improvements, most which are not in the manual, yet they are truly valuable advancements over the original Mavic Pro and deserve their own attention. Alright, so this is part one of two videos because there are so many new features and improvements to cover. Part one will cover the camera and mobile display device. Part two will cover the drone, remote controller, and flight modes. Let's get started. Feature number one, main camera settings. In auto mode, you could override the ISO setting and the camera will automatically adjust the exposure, adjusting aperture, and your shutter speed. Aperture Priority allows you to set the aperture while the camera automatically adjusts the shutter speed to maintain the same level of exposure. Shutter Priority allows you to set the shutter speed while the camera automatically adjusts the aperture, again to maintain the same level of exposure. And in manual mode, it adds aperture control. Feature number two adds a new and improved video codec called H.265. To enable it, go to the camera settings, select camera video coding, and select H.265. This is required in order to enable the D-Log and H-Log color profiles. Feature number three, faster focus. The Mavic 2 takes only about one second to focus. The Mavic Pro takes about four seconds. Feature number four, the shutter button. Just by pressing it halfway, you'll be able to easily focus. Feature number five, Hyperlight, which adds an effective low light setting and enhances quality and reduces noise. Feature number six, the camera's gimbal angle is displayed in degrees and is also speed sensitive, so that it changes to a solid white when you move the gimbal faster. Feature number seven, full camera gimbal control by using the screen. By pressing down and holding your finger on the screen and then sliding it around, you'll now be able to move the camera left and right, and of course up and down as before. Feature number eight, fly in sport mode without the props appearing in your shot while flying straight and at top speed and only minimally appearing when turning aggressively. Feature number nine, charging mode switch, selects whether your mobile device is charged or not charged by the battery of your remote controller, swipe up to see the current battery level, then go into the settings, then select remote controller settings, then select charging mode to be either on or off. All right guys, so that's it for part one of this video series. If you found one new feature that you found helpful, then appreciate you hitting that like button. In the upcoming part two video, I'll cover eight more features, as well as sharing some details about an unreleased feature that DJI is working on that will be amazing. Thanks for watching guys. Happy flying. Bye.